Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anywash and yes, I am back with another watch review. Okay, so this time around, the subject for today's review is this Citizen NY0080... Oh my, <laughs> 36E, I think the, the, the serial number, the, this model number is, but we will know when we see what's inside that box, right? So before we uh, start the full review for this particular watch, so I just have to mention that this is um, this watch is lent in or I borrowed this from another supporter of the channel, Mr. WK or aka Chrono.com path <laughs> chrono chronopath on uh, instagram so thank you very much wk for lending me this watch and a few others other watch as well and a quick wristwatch check i am wearing another watch that i've borrowed from him this is the oris diver 65 a very very cool and nice <laughs> uh, looking oris and i've paired it with this awesome uh handmade strap from cozy uh, leather strap singapore so this looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion but i haven't done a full review for this particular watch please stay tuned to the channel if you want to see the full review of this watch right so let's get back to the watch itself but before that let's check out what's inside this absolutely huge box you know what let's just how to do this right so let's just okay zoom out a bit yep okay so this is how it looks quite a tall watch at about um, not tall box i mean this is uh, i don't know maybe what 30 cm so let's see inside the box okay what do we have inside right so huge so there's nothing here just some foam and we have a few um the, the bracelet is here and a few international guarantee and we have um, some extra links and also the uh, citizen instruction for instruction for citizen diver watch automatic day dates this is the bracelets let's take out the bracelet so that we know what i will show you guys later on all right so let's take out the bracelets and put it aside and the, <laughs> the most important thing is this absolutely huge citizen pro master so there's nothing less inside so this absolutely huge pro master citizen um what is this what do you call this um, diver's tank or uh, scuba tank right so how do you open this so just lay it out set it up so you can see this it came in this uh, box and the uh, model number is the NY0090 so I'm totally wrong this is the NY0090 86E caliber uh, Miota 8203 right so this is the real model number let's just put it back and I'll I'll be back okay so how much does this thing cost I right, so this is the um, citizen fugu limited edition asia limited edition and they say right so they say that it comes only in about 1000 quantity per piece or per model so i've seen quite a lot of variation for this particular thing so you know what i'm not really sure but they don't really have any um uh 100 out of 1000 in at the back so i don't really know how much they are producing but i can see them still um floating around somewhere around 250 to 300 dollars some model is about 400 dollars so depending on what model and color variation that you choose so it is about around that right so for that money what do you get so you get a citizen um basically it is based on the model citizen ny0040 the old version but it is a how to say an improved version of it i must say and we have this um, you know citizen we have this uh, case uh, aluminum 316l stainless steel case not aluminum <laughs> stainless steel case with a new style of uh, indices our indices and also new style of our hands and minutes hands and basically you can call this a, a complete new model altogether but using the same old case is that really so i'm not really sure but of course i will do a comparison video comparing this version with the old one the citizen ny0040 yes they've improved the case a bit they've changed the uh, crown design a bit and of course they changed the bezel design a bit we will go through later on um 
But yeah, just just see it is say the way it is right now for this particular review, right? So let's check out the bracelet, right? So the bracelet featuring this, um, what do you call this? Uh, just a simple push button here. There's no safety class or whatsoever. So we have this stamp metal at inside here, and the links is um, Jubilee ish Jubilee ish style bracelet with a very very nice solid end links there, right? So let's talk about the links, right? So the links annoyingly, <laughs> so they are using something similar to the Seiko collar pin or pin and collar system, but you can see here. The pins is in basically this very simple uh, straight pin, but the collar, right? So this it's not as small as a Seiko, but it is seated on this on this hole here. So, yep, you can see that there is a, there is still some uh, collar inside here. If it is if it if there is no collar, uh, it's on it's similar to something like this so you go on, the collar is going to be inside there and you slot in the pin and you are good to go but the sizing is very very annoying so i'm not really going to bother putting this bracelet back on right so let's check out this uh let's check out the bezel first so the bezel features an aluminum bezel insert and with this uh, i had very very nice design with a 60 click bezel so you can hear the sound very very nice 60 click bezel in my opinion i can't i you know i'm i just prefer the, the bezel on this the citizen because the click is very nice and the most important thing that seiko cannot get right is the bezel is aligned properly to the uh to the chapter ring inside the watch right so that's very very cool right so we have a loom pip sunken inside the aluminum bezel insert and we will show you the loom later on but this aluminum um Insert is basically seated under the bezel so it won't scratch that easily because if let's say you hit anything the bezel it you will hit the outer bezel the, this bezel first and this grip right so this what do you call this um let's let's just say it uh this what do you call it convex shape is very very easy to grip and i just love the way how you play with the uh, with this bezel right so very very nice right okay so the crystal unfortunately citizen still maintains the old um, clear mineral crystal so you will scratch this if you ding it to some some door handle or whatever so yeah that will it that is bound to happen so you can't really change something about that i don't think uh, do we have any re anti reflective coating inside so yeah that's that and that very beautiful um dial with the applied indices with uh, bgw9 loom i assume that it is bgw9 loom so citizen never mentioned inside their uh, website on what type of loom that they are, they are using so this one is in green this one it glows in blue and yeah yeah of course we will do the loom chart later on and the citizen writing is in gold the prospect logo is also in gold automatic diversion images is also in gold and we have written here japan movement down there at six o'clock and we have of course that chapter ring which of course this is citizen guys so citizen is not seiko so they are going to be aligned perfectly <laughs> all right so yeah you can hear my um, how annoyed i am with <laughs> with seiko right so um the hands right the hands fits uh, the hour hands is still that short and stubby uh, our hand and the minute hands is similar with the previous uh, not, not that similar but yeah it doesn't really reach the chapter ring but and it's still okay and the center hands uh, no sorry se second hands right with featuring this uh, tip with this uh, arrow in red which is very very nice touch and you can see that we have a date wheel date wheel is in black it features the date and day wheel in black so very very nice touch from citizen right so of course at the end of the three o'clock you can see that we still have the some uh, loom area so that you won't you will know that that is three o'clock even in the dark very very nice touch there from uh, citizen right so you know what let's do a quick loom check so before i totally forgot right so let's charge this thing a bit and you can see that blue very very nice blue colored loom of the citizen ny0090 and that loom pip which is in green color right so what else right the the case is of course is this 
circular brush pattern here on top and on the side featuring this very very nice polishing of course it is not as you know as zaratsu zaratsu polishing whatsoever but it is okay for the price that you pay for this and uh, on this side is also polish and we have a sign crown right so it's a sign crown something that you won't get on seiko on, on this price range so yeah i'm not seiko bashing here so I'm, I'm i am a seiko fan but you know what if citizen can do why can't you guys right so of course we have a hand winding but a still a non-hacking movement which is a bit annoying because some of the a miota 8215 that is uh, the, some watches that is using the miota 8215 in the is sold in uh, aliexpress they they are using the latest version of the miota 8000 series which has which features hacking but this one does not so that is a bit annoying so you can see just now i've screwed in the crown which is very very easy to use and um, yeah let's see at the back what do we have so we have this uh case back a screw down case back featuring this fugu or the puffer fish right so i i can remember already this is a puffer fish in english or ikan what ikan buntal here in in malay language uh it's mentioned here stainless steel citizen watch company divers 200 meters so this is a certified divers watch right so japan movement we have a serial number here but nothing nothing mentioning about this the number of the limited edition so and we have a 8203d miota movement number so very very nice but the, the etching is a bit too thin so i'm not really sure if you use this for a long time long for longer period of time maybe it will drop off i'm not really sure but yeah it is what it is right so let's give it a quick wipe so what else you know what some people hate the miota movement right because of this uh you know one way or one urine directional rotor sound but you can see it's not really that bad right no it's not really that bad seriously i don't really think it's that bad anymore because maybe because of the thickness of the case Oh, I totally forgot to do the measurements, right? So let's bring in my 100 yen hobby calipers, vinyl calipers that I've bought from Japan. No, it's not actually 100 yen, it's 92 yen, <laughs> right? So, so what is the dimension, right? So the dimension is, forgive me guys, I'm a left-handed guy. So uh, let's just try it on. So this is a 41.5 millimeters in diameter. The luck to luck, the most important dimension here is the luck to luck this is just about 40 yep 47.5 millimeters which is very very nice and the thickness is about um 12.5 millimeters so very very nice and the luck width is 20 millimeters right so that is why i prefer the citizen ny004 series or even this ny0090 series because it is a lot smaller it has a smaller small lot smaller than the Seiko SKX it has 20 millimeters luck width which is of course smaller than SKX and the curvature of this particular case really really does it uh, for me I just prefer this Citizen NY0000 series over the Seiko SKX that that is basically what I mentioned in my uh, previous comparison video review right so absolutely cool and yeah I've put it on this um, uh, what do you call this sail cloth strap from watchgecko.com so this is the owner gave me not not gave me so he lent me together with this watch with this strap which is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion and i just love that guild dial <laughs> all right so very very nice so anyway if you guys um, want to ask me anything about the watch please give me a get, give me some comments down below if you guys want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more if you want uh, you know what if you want to see more future reviews such as if you want to see me more so please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to push the bell notification twice so that you, so that you won't miss any of my future review feature video reviews until next time I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.